Good morning. Uh, my name is Tao Xiang. So uh, the title of our work is Semantic Autoencoder for Zero Shot Learning. This is a joint work done with my students Al Kadarov and my colleague Shogun Gong at uh, Queen Mary University of London. So the problem we want to solve here is Zero Shot Learning. The objective of Zero Shot Learning is to recognize object classes which you don't have any training sample. So we can consider zero shot learning as a transfer learning problem. However, you don't have any training sample in the tag domain, so you cannot use the conventional transfer learning method. The only thing you can do is to improve the generalization ability of your zero shot learning model from the same classes, the source domain only. Okay, so if we look at the existing models, uh, almost all of them try to learn a joint embedding space between the visual feature X and the semantic representation of the class name S in a joint embedding space. And they fall into three categories. You either learn a projection from X to S, which means you use S as the embedding space, or the opposite way from S to X, or the third way is to learn a third space C where both X and S are projected to. So once you project both of them into an embedding space, you can do nearest neighbor search. So our idea is quite simple. We propose to use semantic autoencoder. We use the semantic space as an embedding space. We learn a projection from X to S, but then we force S to be able to reconstruct X. So by adding this reconstruction task, we force S to preserve a richer set of information, which can help the model to generalize better to the unseen classes. The formulation is very simple. It's closed form. It can be solved using six lines of MATLAB code, which is shared on GitHub. So we conducted experiment on six benchmark data sets, which basically include all the data sets people have used before on digital learning. And the semantic space we used are attribute A and word vector W. We only use one of them for fair comparison with the published uh, results. So if we look at the uh, six data set, these are some examples. You can see that uh, they covered wide range of uh, recognition problems ranging from uh, animal classes to the fine grained bird recognition problems to the cross data set uh, recognition problem A plus one and A Yahoo, and also the largest uh, image net classification uh, task. So they are quite uh, challenging. And if we look at the result, so this table includes uh, uh, comparative results from uh, our model and compared to most uh, existing models, including those published in the CVPR we can see that our model as AE in the last two row can achieve the best result on all six benchmark data set. This is despite the fact that our model is closed form, is linear, is very simple, can be solved using six lines of uh, MATLAB code. So the take home message is that uh, the key to the result learning is to improve the generalization ability. And autoencoder, which is old model, has the ability to improve the model's generalization ability. That's why we can do uh, the best results so far on the short learning. Thank you for your attention. Please come to our post number 18 for further discussion.